Good morning, morning everyone. No. Okay, everyone. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Good, Good morning, morning everyone. everyone, and welcome back to your girl's channel. In today's video, Jordan and I are going to be doing a couples, couples vlog. vlog. Okay, let's get out the door because it's okay. kind of awkward. So basically today, uh, I know we're doing quite a bit of different things. We're not going to do too much, but we're just going to kind of vlog it and bring y'all along and see what we do on our regular couples day. Yeah, it's just like a regular day though. We're just exactly. gonna try to get out of the house today and have some more fun and not just be like cooped up in the house. Exactly. And then we'll bring my nephew along later on when we go to like get ice cream and we might stop at like TJ Maxx because I have not gone to a TJ Maxx out here yet. Yeah, girl, you know I like to shop. Okay, it is what it is. Usually the ones that I go to, they never have crap for me. Nothing. And that's another Nothing. reason why I wanna check out a TJ Maxx though because I wanna see if we can find just like some nice affordable clothing because I have so many clothes, but then this boy over here, he's growing, it's weird. Yeah, apparently I went to get uh, another physical and they said that I grew like half an inch. I'm like, what? But not even that, like his arms are getting longer, his legs, like, I don't know what's going on, like all his stuff just shrunk. Like, I don't know if it's like the dryer just like extra powerful here and like his stuff just like <laughs> shrunk out of nowhere. All of his clothes are like tiny now. So we need to find know. you some clothing. Honestly, I think that you washed my clothes and put them on like extra and made them shrink or something. Get out of here, boy. Stop playing with me. <laughs> the outfit he has on right now is from Target. Yeah. But Target's a little bit pricey. I mean, we can still check out Target if we want to, though, because I love this outfit on you. It is so cute. You look so Thank handsome. You. Thank you. It's literally everything Target, Target, Target. 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 But that's the thing, though. I picked up your outfit. You did. I like did. to dress him. Yeah, she be picking out my outfit sometimes and them junks be looking fire. I'm like. Sometimes. Well. Okay, As I like lady, that. <laughs> yeah. I've been picking out all your albums and they've been looking fine. Okay. Yeah. Don't play with me. <laughs> I ain't like, put your hair up. On my recent video, y'all know I went to the beauty supply store and I got like this braiding gel. It's like this braiding jam, but they say you can use it on locks too. Okay. So I'm gonna try it on your hair. Okay, I'm down for that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that on your hair. Not today, but I'm gonna try it very okay. soon. So I'm gonna redo your hair. But um, yeah. Also today, I'm gonna try to like pick up the camera a little bit more and like talk a little bit more because you know. I mean, I still got to open up myself. Yes. But I think I have opened up quite a bit. A but lot I'm gonna, more. I'm going to try to do my best and pick it up more yeah. and talk more, you know, do that type of stuff. Yeah. So he's going to try to get more comfortable with the camera. We're going to actually try to make this like a couple's vlog. Yeah. Um, but that's one thing. Let's say some things that we love about each other because that is, let's say like three things that we love about each other. Okay. Because that's one thing I love about him and that I was like super attracted to um, is that he didn't talk. Like, I don't like guys that just run their mouth all the time I think it's like super ugly so I love that he's not a talkative guy I love that he's super patient and I love that he loves me like and he shows me that he loves me he loves me he loves me and one more thing I know I said three but like his, his focus is always me like that's all he cares about like I don't have to worry about this man because I know that he's like obsessed with me and all he wants is me <laughs> I mean that sound about right. So what about me? Okay, so you, you know, hands down, I absolutely, as we're pulling up right here, I love the way that you carry yourself, okay? You carry yourself like such an independent boss woman, and I love ah! that, okay? You're so I cute. Love I love your personality, how you act. You're, you're always real, you're not faking it, faking nothing for nobody. You always yourself, and that's what I always love too. I love your sense of humor. You're naturally beautiful when you wake up. Uh, when, you go to sleep, three. when you go to sleep, all that, you always smell good. You know how to keep up on yourself. Ah! Your, your priorities all in check. You're straight. So there's so many things I really could say. I, I do love you. I really do. I really do. When I say I mean, people just be saying that for no reason nowadays, bro. They just be saying I love you. I like you. having you on camera with really me. Love. You're so much fun. This is my guy, y'all. This is my woman. This is my guy. This is my guy. This will get you your drinks. Okay, so we just pulled up to Speedway. So as of lately, I haven't really been feeling coffee like that. But on my recent video, I did have some coffee, but it was pretty good. But I think it's like later on in the day I can drink coffee. But like first thing in the morning, I like an energy drink. But energy drinks have been making me feel so sick as of lately. So the only ones that I've found that haven't been are Red Bulls. Like you would think that Red Bulls would be the one that would make me feel sick. But no, it's all these new energy drinks that make me feel like super sick. Like... I love rains and I've never had a problem with rains, but as of lately, they've been making me feel sick. Celsius has been making me feel sick. The rain storms, like, ugh, I wanna try the C4s again and see how that's doing because my body's been like really weird lately. And yeah, I need to get healthier, y'all. 
So one thing we need to do, like collectively together, is drink more water. Drink more water. Yes. So we need to fill yeah. up some big old water bottles today, and we need to be continuing to drink them, like continuing to day after day. So. <laughs> We need to get our water intake today yeah. because as of lately, I've been slacking on my water. You been slack on just like <laughs> I've been doing real good drinking my water. Have to use the bathroom like every hour, but you know it is what it is. For I take that sacrifice for for my body actually feeling good, yeah. feeling strong, and everything like that. It's just so annoying when you no. have to go in like public restrooms and it smells so sick, and but oh, you have yeah. to go pee. There's been times where I just said screw it, I'm just gonna hold it. My blood is just, just gonna have to be in pain because at this point I can't. But that's the one thing, that's the one trade off. That's why I haven't slacked on my water because I know that I'm gonna have to go pee, 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 pee. But we're gonna yeah. work on that today, and we need to make this like a routine thing where we get our water in because water affects your mood, like it mm -hmm. makes you feel better, it gives you energy and it just it helps you look young for longer y'all know I've been doing very well with my skin I'm so happy with how my skin is doing and um, that's gonna keep me looking good for a long time it's gonna keep my joints feeling good because I went on Accutane and my body's still in pain there's so many benefits of water but yeah anyway let me stop rambling let's get up in the store and they usually have rebels for like we're at Speedway they usually have rebels for like three for something so I think it's two for five here last time I can't why are you shaking <laughs> that camera said <laughs> Um, no, last time I came here it was like three for something. Was it? We'll see. Let's go. Three for six and buy two get one free. That's what it was. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna drink a regular one today. What's this one? Ooh, peach. So I'll just get one peach and then two regular. Wait, yeah, two regular. Ooh, buy two get one free. Mm, well, you're Red Bull. No, I don't. Stop lying. Oh. I got my red. You got your red. Whoa. You remember this shirt? I do. I wore this the first time I came over to your house. You do. Or yeah. I do. I remember. Get your I remember words I said right. something about it, but I don't think you remember right. it. I was like dramatic. Right. Get your words right. Oh. <laughs> you better be careful, girl. <laughs> she wore it the first day she came over. I said something about it, and she acting like she don't remember it. Huh? Nothing. I wore this dramatic shirt. Dang, remember this? Remember that one time we went hygiene shopping, or I went hygiene shopping, and I was like, "This ain't my dashboard. His dashboard dirty. Mine's is clean." <laughs> Girl, stop talking. Um, no, but I wore this dramatic shirt the first time I went to his house. He should have known from that day I was gonna be a lot. Yep. Yeah, I was I gonna know. be a roller coaster ride. I know. You didn't know nothing, dude. Kim K came out with a Alani drink, so I was like, "Let me just grab it." Look at this, y'all. Kim K came out with this Alani drink. It's not cold, so I'm not gonna drink it, but I'm gonna try it out. Kim Made by Kim K, Alani. It's definitely the cutest packaging they've had so far, but I would definitely expect for her to do like more like a, maybe like a metallic or like a gray. The pink is, it's giving like Hello Kitty. I don't know, but her style has changed ever since she ain't been with Kanye, so. I completely ignored everything that you were saying when I was saying, get your words right. Get your, what were you saying, babe? <laughs> oh, I was just saying that, uh, I remember you wore that, that shirt the first time and I said something about it, but now you act like you don't remember. What'd you say? Whenever I was like uh, dramatic, when you first uh, wore it. It was only one word, but you know, I said it. Everything meant a lot though. Yeah. I still remember so many of the times that we had. We it was, was crushing. Uh, you ain't lying. Girl, I finally got you. I was like, his brother was like, I already knew you guys were gonna get together. Because anybody that ever asked me, like, do you like him? Do you like him? I'm like, no. Yeah, I know she was out there lying. No, it wasn't about lying because I didn't want to get caught up in like the whole, I like being a mom. Right. It, like it was like a whole thing where like everybody had somebody that, somebody that they liked. And like, I just didn't want to get caught up in it. Like, I'm not here for that. I think he's cute. I think his personality is pretty dope. But I'm not doing all that all people mm, 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 talking stuff. I don't like that. Y'all know churches can get messy and like, that's how churches get messy, it's just by all the talk. And like, I was just like, okay, and I'm not trying to get caught up in this stuff, so I just didn't really talk right. about it. Of course my brother knew stuff like that, and uh, he talked to me about it a couple of times, but I know my brother, and he ain't the type to just be blabber in his mouth, so. No. That was somebody I could. Yeah, that was my he boy. Already, he already knew though. Yeah, sure. no, he was the coolest one there. He was one of the reasons why I even like, enjoy coming to the church because I didn't really know you like that but he was super cool yeah. and I was like this dude is really dope and he was hosting like the services and stuff like that and I'm like okay I'm gonna keep coming back here because he's he's pretty darn dope he's a pretty darn dope dude um, pretty darn dope dude yeah y'all <laughs> some cool people thank you trust for me for sure you, whoa dang these people can't park is that both of them like lined up at the same time <laughs> 
Whoa. Y'all ever pull into a parking spot and you think you have a good spot and then there's people halfway over the line? That's it's not even like no brand new 2024 either. No. I'm sorry, but if I get a 2024 brand new car, I'm parking in between the lines. Don't even park near me. Don't park near me. <laughs> I'm parking sideways. Hold on, let me drink my drink. I haven't even been able to open it. Oh, can you open it for me, babe? Yeah. We're pulling up to the grocery store because we're about to make some breakfast. We're going to make breakfast together. Yeah. My honey, we're going to make it. When she says we're about to make it, usually I just do like little stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna have him do much. Okay, not gonna. He probably just gonna whip the eggs. All we gonna make is some breakfast burritos. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. No, you good. Hold that. You good. We got our dash cam. I'm trying to be smart in life, so that's why I got the dash cam and the back dash cam, and I have my baby install it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be more lovey with you how I am off camera because like my view on like the lovey-dovey stuff has always been like bad gross bad but it's not so it has to be like a balance you can't be overly lovey-dovey to where it becomes lustful mm -hmm. and you can't be to the point where you're not being lovey-dovey at all and you're trying to be cool and you're trying to be like hardcore because that can both of those things can ruin a relationship and we have an amazing balance we love each other and we're not married yet we will be married very soon um so mm -hmm. yeah we know how to balance things out so that things don't go too far exactly exactly because in a relationship, you still got to let the person know, I mean, that you love them, just in the right way. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You got to know your person. Did he just walk up to their car? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They're chatting it up. Okay, let's get into this grocery store. Let's right. get these ingredients. Let's, let's get these ingredients. Wait, I was about to put my seat button on. <laughs> first things first, tortillas. Yes, sir. You got to get the tortillas. Um, a tank count would be good. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah. Mm. I just get them all heated up on the stove, like with the actual fire. Picante. You said we need picante sauce? Yeah, we need picante sauce, but well, my favorite is the Burger King picante sauce. Oh, they don't sell yeah. that though. So I just got to get the regular schmegglers. I could have sworn I saw on Amazon that they sell it. Oh, Amazon, them little packages, they'll be expensive. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to get some cheap little off bread picante. We Tortillas, we got to get cheese. Bacon, eggs, dog food, and I gotta get like a facial moisturizer because okay. I mix like a I mix like unscented moisturizers in with my topical because it's just too too much to spread around the face. Right. It has an exfoliant. Anyways. Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna grab this CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion to mix in with my exfoliant, my daily topical. My dermatologist made me. You do like the Mexican style too, though, right? I do like Mexican style, but you know what? We can do that. I just like sharp cheddar. Yeah, get the sharp cheddar then. Okay. I'm pretty sure my mom already has eggs in the house, but just in case, I'm not trying to get there and then they don't have it. So, what kind do you want to get this time? Um, we switch it up every time. We do, because these ones are pretty good too, these uh, pedigree ones. Okay, and we just mix in their wet food with that. That's for puppies. Exactly. Yeah. That's to help them like grow and stuff. Yeah, they're grown. Small dogs. We have small dogs. We can just do that. Yeah, so they exactly. Have well, you know what? Lockett doesn't do too well with chicken, so I'm not going to get chicken. I'm going to get the grilled steak and vegetables. Okay. Because it's like something about cockapoos and chicken. Yeah, it's something with her. She be acting like she's the pickiest eater in the world. I'm yeah. a picky eater, and she's pickier than me. Yeah, it's not her fault, though. She's a cockapoo. Right, exactly. But Essence, <laughs> say goodbye. That's a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, she's a vacuum, facts. And we have completed our little grocery shopping trip. I grabbed like a little retractable dog leash as well for later on. Because we're gonna go on the trails later on and we're gonna take both the dogs. We usually take them out separately only because they don't know how to behave together. They are just like crazy. They wanna play, they just wanna do their thing. But girl, I don't care. I'm gonna take them both out. I don't wanna just take one of them out and leave the other one. So I'm gonna take them both out, but we only have one retractable leash. So I bought another one. It's kind of ugly. It's blue, but I don't really care. I'll buy another one if I see like a cuter one. But as for now, they had that one on sale for like $14.99. I mean, the other one we have is gray. It's not like it's pink or anything. So we just have like boy looking retractable leashes. I don't care. So yeah, we got everything we needed. We didn't record everything, of course. But we got everything we needed for the um, breakfast burritos. The only thing I forgot to put on the list was sour cream. And I was so happy that we walked past the sour cream because I'm like, girl, we need sour cream. Let me grab that. It's not even on the list. So yeah, ugly little retractable leash, but it is what it is. Y'all know I like for things to look cute, but they had that one on sale and I want to take both of them later on. And I wasn't thinking about how we only have one retractable leash until we got near the dog food and yeah. But we mixed their, um, their wet dog food in with their dry dog food. So he'll show you guys how he does that because he feeds the dogs. So he'll show you guys how he does that. We haven't fed the dogs this morning yet, so we're going to go ahead and get home and feed the babies. And I'm going to feed everybody. I'm going to make some breakfast burritos and then... I haven't made those in so long. Remember I used to make one like every single morning? Mm -hmm. They're so good. Y'all don't even know. They're so good. 
and um, then we're gonna head out. We're gonna go like trail walking. I need to get ready. We really need to clean up your bathroom. Oh, I'm not. My saying, bathroom is clean. I know you be busy and stuff like that, so we need to clean his bathroom. Yeah. And uh, we want to go out, maybe get like some ice cream, try like try out like a new little ice cream place, and maybe yeah. go to a store and stuff like that. Just take my nephew out for like some outdoor fun before he has to get back to school. He's a little nervous because he's gonna be going to a new school this year, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, we're nervous about things, but it's actually better for us. So. Right. We've been talking more and more, and we're just like, yeah, we gotta get out more. And yes. Enjoy the days more. Yeah, we really do, even in the winter time. Yes. Yeah, exactly. When it's winter, we should still go out and still have fun and enjoy ourselves. So. Right. Because what's the point in not doing that? Mm hmm You know. We got to make the most out of every day. Last summer we got out and we had so much fun. But I want to do it again. Um, I know summer's going to be over soon. But I, even in the winter time we need to get out and we need to start having more fun. Your girl said screw fall. Let's just go from summer to winter. You could have told me. Exactly. We're going to do all types of stuff. We're going to sled. We still going to walk. But yes. we got to bundle up. Because it's easy to like grow out of the fun things that you used to do at one point when like life hits harder and work and like all those different things. But we still want to enjoy our time together. We don't want to fall out of love. Like we don't want to lose our spark and we want to continue to have fun. And even when it's 10 years down the line, we want to still play like kids and have so much fun. So if y'all want to come along, we can bring y'all along. But this is my lover boy. Trust Don't me. kiss my hand like that. Trust me, I ain't in no rush to grow old. <laughs> to grow old? Yeah, Nobody's in a rush to grow I old. Still wanna, I still want to be a, a little kid at heart. You know, I still like doing a lot of things I liked doing back then. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yep, because that's how we first bonded and how we first like got together was we bonded through like going out and having fun and stuff like that. And exactly. then slowly we just stopped, you know, going out and enjoying our time together. But we need to do that again. Yeah, we're getting back to it right now. Yeah, innocent fun. Yeah, exactly. I love you, baby. I love you, my little precious girl. Hey! All right, so now we back. I'm about to show you how I make this dog food. Mix in this wet food. I can't tell you how excited I am for those burritos, girl. Yeah, I already cut up the bacon. I'm just putting mm -hmm. it all in the pan. And yep. then I'm just going to go ahead and fry that up. And then start whipping the eggs and stuff. Yep, but let me show y'all how I make it. So first things first, what I do, right whenever we get some new ones, I always put it in this nice little handy dandy thing. And inside, we got the, I got a little scooper that I use that's literally perfect. <laughs> oh, she's already waiting her cake. Yeah, exactly, she waiting like a good old girl. That's that baby. So I give them a, a pretty good amount. Since I'm gonna mix them both together, I'm not gonna put too much. Essence little body self, she be eating a lot. She be eating more than her body weight, I swear. She tried to eat her bowl, look. Yeah, literally, as y'all can see. Yeah, we got her that cheap little bowl. We haven't even got her a new one ever since because she's just so crazy. Exactly, she tear up everything. Yeah. Playing with me. And then, for the wet food, we just started using this, but it says fresh pet. It's a slice and serve roll. A slice and so serve roll. So this one was like the beef. Okay, this one's beef, and the, the other one's, one's like, like turkey. What, turkey? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna slice about, because Lockett, she don't eat too much of this. I'm yeah, no, it's Essence that loves it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'll slice essence. like that. And honestly, that's good. Look, girl. That's I can't good pick right you there. Up. My hands are clean. So I just cut it up and kind of like split it up into multiple pieces and then just separate it inside that's all? their food. For Locket? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, Essence is. wants more of that. Locket, she be playing with me. Yeah. That's like a good amount for Locket. Yeah. Put this right there. Locket's a little funny acting about it. Yeah, exactly. And then if we really can't get her to eat our food, we put a little hot or warm water in it and like yeah. mix it up yeah and then she'll pretty much bang down anything essence is our more difficult dog when it comes down to like um pottying and like getting her to behave and then yeah. lock is more difficult with food but everything else lock is like amazing exactly but i'm gonna put a little bit of warm water in this just to make sure that she eats it and that is a nice complete healthy meal for miss Lockett. a little essence since she's just gonna vacuum this stuff up i'll give her about just a little bigger slice. You all fluffy because I had to give you a shower. Mm-hmm. Because you want to step in your stuff. Yeah. You all fluffy. Mama clean you. She gave her a nice bath. Now she smells I gave her a shower. Good. Or a shower. Yep. It's easier with a shower head. Right. I see it's way easier when and I watch we'll, it. Um, we'll give Lockett a shower soon, too. Yep. Everybody got to be clean. Yeah. Because their grooming appointment isn't until, like, two weeks. 
And they don't smell bad. I just like to do it no. because it's easier for me to detangle them. Yeah. When I get them all wet and then I put their, I have to show locket. Look at this girl. Y'all, she is ready for that food. Say hi. Say hi, girl, you're so pretty. Oh, Lockie used to be our only baby. We used to take her everywhere. Are you coming out now? No, she waiting for that food. Lockie, you ready to eat, girl? I'm ready to eat. Yes, you ready to eat? Go ahead, Cage. Cage. Cage, girl. Cage, good girl. Good girls. Hey, stay. Ready, girl. You know the drill. Go, back up. Get up, sit. Good girl, how you say? Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, eat something, bud. And I like it. I put a good amount of warm water in it so it's nice and mushy for you, girl. There you go. You can eat. That's my baby. There you go, pumpkin. That's a good yeah. food. Usually they always go for the water first before they even eat, but this time it looks like Lockett trying to get at the food first. So I'm going to let him do it. Yeah, Lockett takes your time. I'm gonna let them do their thing. S is over there banging that down. <laughs> All right, let me season up these eggs. I put a little bit of Lori seasoning salt, Chipotle seasoning, accent, and some cracked black, black pepper, black peppercorns. <laughs> <laughs> I just put some paper towel in like this little wooden bowl. And that just kind of catches the grease. Y'all don't mind my little burn. I'm going to cover it up with a band-aid. But it's healing. Oh, Essence is already done. Mind y'all, it's literally been like she what? She didn't finish her water. That's surprising. Wow, that is. She did not finish her water. Usually the water's gone first. Praise, praise the Lord. She loves water and that's why she pees so dang much. Look at this little baby. She always up under somebody. What you wanting? You so fluffy from your shower. I didn't make enough bacon. And look. Lock is still over here taking her time. Don't bother her. She might mess her up. She's so yeah, she be looking up. She, she does do that. Yeah, she if has you, to have her alone. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. You interrupt her while she's eating, she's going to be like, matter of fact, I ain't even hungry no more. Mm -hmm. Soak up some of that bacon grease because when you drop more bacon and there's already a bunch of grease, that's when it gets to popping like crazy. Mm -hmm. You're such a good girl, she, ain't you? She acts so much better when she gets done eating her food. That's a, that's a pretty girl. She's my feet. <laughs> what the? Essence. That's a bad girl, Essence. Go outside. This girl just does not catch on. She just has not caught on yet, y'all. It is really difficult with this little girl. It's very difficult with Essence, I'm not gonna lie. Essence is a very difficult, time-consuming dog. And this is what she does all day. I'm dumping the rest of that water out. I'm not giving her that water, Miss Peabody. Let me drop this bag. Let me wash my hands so I just clean up her pee. Can you um, clean off that yeah, I don't know cutting where. board? We usually put everything in the dishwasher. So yeah. We'll have to get up one of these mornings and clean everything up. It's surprise my mom so she ain't got to get up and clean. The dishwasher is a dope thing for sure. Yeah, the dishwasher is really dope. So it makes things very easy. I don't know why I wasn't using dishwasher in my old place. But I needed it for storage, because the girl has right. so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, she literally knows whenever she did wrong, because whenever she pees like that, either she looks really guilty or she'll run to her cage. So exactly. I ended up, yeah, so I ended up taking her out after it, and then the whole walk, she wanted to be real good. She keeps on looking up at me, knowing that she did wrong, and then she got the rest of her pee out, and I brought her back here. But now, she seems to have calmed down. She Well, no, correction, anytime anybody holds her, she's like a little baby in my arms. But right when I let her down, there she goes. You ain't get nothing. If you sit down, you might get something. You guys sit. Sit. Stay. She's excited. Lock it. Essence. No more. Man, that's exactly like she's been in the pan fighting for food her whole life. <laughs> In these next couple days, I'm gonna head to Walmart and grab these cute like little wooden and black stools I've seen. They're like 30 bucks each. They're already like put together already. So that will be perfect. So I'll just grab a bunch of those stools and do that. I would do it today, but we're not gonna have enough space in the car because Zyra will be in the back. So we can just go another day. We can do like another couples vlog or whatever the heck. And mm -hmm. we can go grab those stools um, just so that people have places to sit. Tell me why he gonna come up to me. 
talking about some less shadow box, and I'm about to cook this man. So watch this real quick. You go first. Three, two, one. Yeah. A third. Three, two, one. That. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. One, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh! Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch how I cook you right here, okay? Three, two, one, that way. Okay? Watch this. Three, two, one, that way, that way. Okay? <laughs> Three, two, this one, is ugly. that way, that way, that way. Wait, 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 I'm confused. I thought, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab a bottle of water and start drinking it. Try to drink the whole bottle because we're going to go on the trail soon and you need to be hydrated. What? I drink mine slow. Yeah, not too fast. Yeah. Jordan, drink your water too. You sitting up talking. You got a water bottle drunk? Okay, get another one. What about you? I'm drinking on it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, drink that up, mama. Gotta stay feeling good and looking good. I already do. Um, yeah. but uh, when you drink energy drinks, energy drinks, that is a tongue twister for me. They're acidic, so you want to make sure that when you're drinking them, you also drink water and switch your mouth out because it's not good for your teeth and it's not good for your enamel. So yeah, I just laid some paper towel down and it sucked up a good amount of bacon grease and I still left a little bit in there so I can cook the eggs in it. So these eggs gonna be done soon. You just slowly wanna like bring them into the middle because you don't want them to be like choppy. So you slowly do that. And then we're gonna get started. All right, I just put the fire straight on the tortilla, y'all. And just kind of get it a little black. Just a little bit in a little couple areas. And then I just flip it. Matter of fact, let me not. Focusing on too many things at one time. Uh, hold on. I gotta make sure these eggs get done right. I love eggs, I'm not gonna lie. You do? It's yeah. good protein for you, so that's good. Yeah, eggs, yeah. And eggs and cheese. Yeah, well, eggs and cheese gonna be on these burritos, so you better eat it. So. Oh, I like egg, cheese, and hot sauce in the morning, right? Hot sauce? No, that's, it's better for you to have picante sauce in the morning. But I guess if you want hot sauce on yours, that's what you wanna do. I ain't gonna stop you, it's summer. Oh, it's summer. It's summer, you about to go back to school. It's summer, that means no technology. <laughs> we like to watch like certain shows. We watch the Dorico, and he said for the summer they couldn't be on their uh, their screens. Yep, screen free summer. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what is the summer? <laughs> Hold on, man. But I think it's because they had a film yeah, the show, yeah. so they want to make sure the kids aren't just you know occupied with the screens. They got to get out and do activities for the show. Makes sense. I don't think all filming with kids is um, exploiting your kids. I think it's when you're literally only doing stuff with your kids because. It's gonna make the money, but I know that they be doing stuff with their kids all the time. You can tell the kids are happy. All right, so I usually do sour cream, but he don't like sour cream, so I'm gonna do the picante sauce. You want more? Uh, more? No, thank you. That's good. That's good. All right, then I do the eggs. I be forgetting how I do this because I ain't made them in a minute. <laughs> Unfortunately. And they're seasoned real good because I like seasoned. And then some cheese. All right. That's good? Yeah. Or you want more? That's good. That's good? All right. 11-11, make a wish. Make a wish at 11-11? No, let's say a prayer. Oh, Lord Jesus, let today go great. Let us have an amazing, fun, enthusiastic day. Let everything go smoothly. Go before us and prepare the hearts of the people that we are going to encounter. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. May this food bless, bless and nourish our bodies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Make your mind like a taco. All right. Go ahead. You gotta get a couple more bites because that's gonna be the real flavor of now. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Good. What you rate it, y'all, when you get done getting the food out your mouth or you chew it up? <laughs> yup, get your water and say, there you Thank go. You. Thank you. Smart boy. You know I love this, so I gotta rate it a smooth 10. Smooth yeah. 10. All right, out of 10, what would you rate it? Especially for breakfast. Um, can I rate it past the 10? If you want to, shoot. Sure. Go ahead and make me feel good. A million. There we go. These are simple and good breakfast burritos, and they're pretty filling. Ooh, I'm already getting full. Yeah, they good, ain't they? Yeah. All right, I'm glad to hear it. The sauce, it tastes like salsa, but not like salsa. It's like kind of like spicy. Right, that's why I like picante. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so when y'all get done eating, and when I get done eating, we can head off to the trails and walk the dogs. And we'll just go home with the rest of our day because we gotta get your uh, bathroom clean and stuff, Jordan. And then we can, uh, I'll just have to hop in the shower and get ready real fast and then we can head out. While you're doing that, I'll just clean mine. And then I guess I'll show y'all. Oh, so you're gonna clean your bathroom? Okay, yeah. well, you better clean up to my expectation. Girl. Uh huh. 
I taught you how to clean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright girls, we got the baby wipes for your paws. Let's get these harnesses on. Come here girl. We're going. I gotta hold her because y'all, she has no discrimination when it comes down to a car or nothing. She will pee and poop in a car. Lock it? Never. Ever since she was a puppy. Lock is very clean. I didn't even really have an issue with Lockett doing anything in her cage because she was really clean since day one. She's very smart. I definitely suggest Takapoos because they are so smart. Alright, Gorilla. Crazy girls. This is why we don't bring the dogs out together because they're already crossing over, tripping everybody up. Girl. They always run like a figure eight. Ooh, she's so little and cute. They're so little and cute. They love getting out like this, though. I know. Yeah. They just need to, to stop being so curious of every little thing and walk, though. Yeah. So today's right. actually the day that they take their medication. Okay. They're um, flea and tick and heartworm stuff, so I do want to keep them out of the grass as much as possible because today is the day that they usually take it on the 20th. All so right. we got to make sure that they stay out of the grass just because today's the day. Girl. I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, she's a little itcher, even though she's always up on her medication, so... She literally cannot get flea or ticks. We're just gonna go around one lap because girls a little hot outside and I ain't with the junk. Plus one lap is good enough, y'all. It's a pretty decent, you know, distance um, around like this little, they call it a pond, but I'm like, this looks like a lake. Like it's literally huge, but they call it a pond, but it's just one lap around. I'm getting hot and I'm ready to get up in, and I'm ready to get up in the shower. Girl, I like to stay super clean on my menstrual cycle and girl, I haven't showered today, so I gotta get up in the shower. The scenery is beautiful though. Yeah, for real, it's nice and peaceful. It is very peaceful out here. This is a good trail. It's, it's a very beautiful trail, yeah, it's a good trail. It ain't too long either. <laughs> yeah, it's not. You keeping up? <laughs> Ooh, you tired. <laughs> He's exhausted. You can run right out. Dude, you're so red. <laughs> I'm going right now. Uh uh, cause the dogs gonna chase you. I got Jordan with the dogs, cause I don't, I don't feel like doing all of that. They, they be tripping me up. Yeah, girl, I do this. Yeah, you do this for real. They act better with you anyway. Look at them, y'all. <laughs> them girls is good. We gotta get them out more together. Right. Cause that's how we gonna train them to do better right. together. Exactly. Teamwork, make the dream work. Ooh, what's that bug? Cool. Ooh, it's a dragonfly. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> Look at them girls. Look at those girls. I can't wait to get my butt home and get up in the shower. That's gonna make me feel amazing for the day. I feel you on that. I need to put on some shorts next time we come out. I got these big old thick pants on. I wasn't thinking straight, but this is super relaxing. Nature is relaxing, it really is. You can think positively and like more clearly when you get out and you see beautiful things. My mom had us on the trails all growing up. Uh-uh, that bee better go on somewhere. Yeah, it was a bee over there, but we're gonna go right past it. Yeah, you and all that screaming, you're gonna have to slow down with that screaming. I don't know, Zaire. I don't know. Come on, come on next to me. Some random dude just popped out of the woods. Now he's following us. What is going on? Oh, that's why I'm gonna keep the camera on. Is he still back there? I don't know. I know he ain't got no shirt on. Hmm. It's just weird that he just popped up out the woods like that. He was just standing drinking his water bottle. I know, yeah. that's why I'm like, at least it ain't no alcohol he drinking. At least he drinking water. So that don't really concern me too much. Cause there's been a couple incidents on the trails growing up. I'm not gonna lie. And my mom and dad had to shut it down real quick. There was plenty of times my dad had to shut some people down on the trails. Girl, this one dude had a knife on him. And he was like walking down a hill towards us. Girl, my dad said, get over here right now. He collected all his kids. And he got to talking his crap. That man turned around. Then there was one time this guy popped up out the woods one time and he was following us like severely. And it was me, it was my family and another family. This is when my mom and my dad were divorced so we were just with my mom. He was so drunk. He racing up on us, right? Girl, my mama got us and we got to going. So that's one thing I will say about the trails. It's not always safe if you're by yourself. For my females out here, it's not very safe if you're gonna be by yourself going on the trails because it's deep woods. And like, if something were to happen, ain't nobody gonna be there, like realistically, and they might not hear. That's why I don't go on the trail by myself, like, no. I be wanting to, but realistically, girl, no. It is not safe. Huh? 
Good, okay. Yep, he did. He did, because I brought out this camera. Because why, out of nowhere, when we walk past him, he just start hopping out the woods, following us. Nah. Girl, no. I ain't with that. These people be looking suspicious. He probably went back to the place. Well, he probably went back to that little, yeah, that little pocket in the woods. So nobody got time for that. And if you ever feel like you in danger, girl, you better call the police or call somebody that you know. Yeah, my dang nail popped off because I was trying to hit the button on Essence's new retractable. This is normal though, y'all. Y'all know I got press-ons. But I was trying to hit the button on Essence's new retractable leash and it just like popped off. But yeah, girl, that was just, that just kind of creeped me out because uh-uh, it's been like a lot more like situations that have happened on the trails where my parents were like uh-uh let's get to get because i'm gonna tell you right now if we don't something happened these girls need some waters hey, I can like it. all right let's get some waters they got a doggy uh fountain oh boy oh Lord. i thought it was yeah, how does this work though oh there we go, yeah, lock it, go first. all right lock it girl drink your waters you don't want waters Checking like she don't see it essence want water it's hey. water waters don't do it till their heads come back because I don't want their faces wet. All right, yeah, back. Let's do it again. Water. Look at that, girls. So oh, that's so good. This is so cool, you guys. They have like a fountain for people and for dogs. Oh, Yummy. All right, let's go. It's cold water. That's the noise coming from it? That's the girl going pee. All right. She peed on the concrete, y'all. That's just peed on the concrete. And Lockie peed in the grass twice. Girl, you do not need any more water. All right, come on, pretty. Goodness me, you need to work out more, girl. You are not panting like this. Look at that tongue. Look at, look oh my at goodness, it. we're gonna have to take them on way more walks. Lock it, lock it. Girl, y'all is too much. Jordan, we gotta change their life. We gotta change their life. Seriously. Cause um, they used to work out, but it never worked out. Jordan, this is a joke right now, right? Y'all doing too much. Girl. Ooh, that nasty wet yeah, mouth. Stinkins. This dude thought he lost his phone on the trails, but he left it at home because I checked his location. But this boy ran around the entire trail looking for his dang phone. I'm not about to play with you, dude. I had to just make sure, and then like halfway through, I was like, wait a minute. Because I was like, are you sure you brought it? And no, I wasn't sure. Well, I you said, you said, I know I brought it. You didn't say that. You did say that you knew did you I brought it. That? Yeah, you said you did bring it. Oh. And so I looked at your location and it's at home. Dog yeah, still love. panting. Nice little workout though. I need to work out more. They need to work out more. Yeah. Just make sure that bathroom's clean, right? Yeah, I'm gonna clean it, you know. Wipe down the surfaces and stuff. Clean out that bathtub. Yeah, clean the bathtub. Mm -hmm. And then that's about it. Okay, boy. <laughs> I'm not playing Yeah, I'm gonna clean it. Clean it up real good, Jordan. I got you. I got me. You can use this, because this is pretty easy. If you want to use this. Oh yeah, I'll do that. To clean out the uh, tub. I already bleached it when I get done cleaning my toilet every time. Okay. But um, if it if it runs out of soap, just get some Dawn dish soap. Do you have any? Uh, Hold on. In there, no. I should have some down here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Hey, thank you. All right, and then I have some of this cleaner right here. You can use this cleaner. And then my solutions are in the hallway. I'm gonna hop my butt up in the shower, y'all. Get all clean. Put some nice clean clothes on. And girl, get ready and we are headed out the door. I was waiting with the door. All right, y'all, so this is what it's looking like right now. It's not nothing too crazy, it's not too dirty, but I do have to organize a little bit. It's not gonna be too much, but I'm gonna clean up the shower and the bathtub clean the whole toilet of course organize this wipe down the counters and down here i don't really need to organize like that but i just put the stuff that i really need at the front so i could just reach in here and you know yoink up right whenever i want to use it but these are all like miscellaneous things there's nothing too crazy going on in here but i'm finna clean this all up mop the floors and get this all looking nice so like i said this is the before And I'm going to catch y'all for the after.
this is what it looks like when oh my gosh flashbang when I clean it don't knock on my cleaning styles man and I'm gonna be washing the shower mat so I'm just gonna put a towel down for right now but starting off over here I mean I cleared it off uh, wiped it down the other stuff that I used to clean the glass with I saw that it left some streaks so I just went into my baby's bathroom and she gave me another glass cleaner stuff and it pretty much wiped it all away and we got this all nice and clean it smells all good in here I wiped down everything inside here uh, I do need to get like a toilet brush cleaner so I can clean the inside right there but it doesn't look really bad right now I had to clean the back because you know the, the freaking floorboard and stuff get disgusting back there empty out the trash uh, clean out inside here looks all nice and good eventually i'll get some new shower curtains and stuff but as y'all can see i love dove this cucumber and green tea if you ain't using it shush, you losing but you know not too much i like to be pretty minimalistic with the stuff that i have like around just so i'm not overwhelmed by stuff because i'll get overwhelmed with just like little things like that but the floor is drying right now. It's all mopped and swept. I swept uh, whenever I, I ended up going back and sweeping after I mopped and then I mopped again. So it looks all nice and good right now. This is for when I take my baths. And yeah, that is pretty much it. This is a nice clean JaVale bathroom. Thank you Jesus for this wonderful day. Thank you Jesus for my wonderful fiance. Oh girl, I'm rhyming out here. Okay, okay. I'm sitting here doing my makeup and I'm just talking to Jesus and I am listening to my praise and worship music and I'm just so grateful for life. I'm so grateful for everything. It's really about how you look at everything, you know. It's not up to other people to make you happy. It's not up even it's not even about your circumstances. It's really just about how you look at everything. So it's not about what's going on around you. It's about what's going on inside of you that determines your happiness because it's really not about circumstances. We know that Jesus is never going to fail us. So why are we sitting up unhappy worrying feeling depressed when we know that if jesus brought us out before he gonna bring us out again amen okay um but i was also just sitting here talking to the lord and i was just like because i do enjoy making content with jordan so much like we had so much fun and i was just like i don't understand why i let it get to me so bad um when jordan and i was making content and people were talking crazy and he was just like it was a sensitive subject for you because you felt like you were doing something wrong in the first place just by having a boyfriend in my household it was bad to have a boyfriend and like having a boyfriend you know was like a really bad thing so in my head me having a boyfriend was already you know not the best thing ever and then trying to prove to people that what i was doing was right so it was already deep down a sensitive subject so when people got to talking about our relationship it made it that much worse for me and i just felt like oh my gosh i'm just i'm doing something wrong which there's nothing wrong with having companion and, and being in a relationship as long as sin is not taking place in that relationship so i did my eyebrows y'all real fast i'm trying to like rush through this makeup because i don't want to take forever I kind of messed up this brow over here, but I'm about to go wet this dang sponge. I got my primer on right now. I'm letting it sit because it says let it sit for a minute, but it's been over a minute. So I don't know what I'm doing. But in my head, what I was doing, like deep down, I thought that what I was doing was wrong. So like everything that people were saying was bothering me. And there was nothing that I was doing wrong in my relationship. You know, there was absolutely nothing wrong. I am who I am. I am sassy. That's what it is. And he was just telling me, you know, like a lot of people are bitter because they've either been broken by somebody or they feel like they'll never have anybody like how you have. I blessed you with this man. I know how you are and I designed him and I designed you exactly how you guys are supposed to be to be together and match each other. I know my little girl and I know how spunky and sassy and dramatic she is. So I created a man just for her. I didn't even know the Lord was gonna send me Jordan how he sent me Jordan like I was not expecting for me to be in a relationship as fast as I was because I was just like not really planning on it which is another reason why I feel like what I was doing was bad because I was like I'm going to wait but then he sent Jordan I'm grateful for the man that Jesus sent me and um I'm not gonna stop being myself for a guy and also me being how I am is what attracted Jordan to me I don't get around people and fake I don't get around people and start to act different start to act like oh girl i'm me okay how i am is exactly what attracted jordan to me and he loves the person that i am and he don't want me to change for the world and if i did that 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 man would be like um what's going on right now 
because this is not the woman that I like. This is not the one that I was attracted to. I like my sassy woman. I like my spunky, put me in my place type of woman. And that's the kind of guy that he is. And that's just what it is. Now, not all guys are confident enough to let their woman be themselves. And so I think a lot of women are with guys like that, that if they say something to him, he gonna pop right back. Well, that's, you know, that's not Jordan. I've never had an issue with Jordan like that. And I will never have an issue with Jordan like that because that's not how God made Jordan. Jordan is so, so sweet. And I remember people like being like, oh, it's because his mom is deaf that he's super sweet. Now this ain't being shady, but um, his siblings, they're more like me. Like they gonna pop it real quick. His brother, his sister, they ain't, they ain't like Jordan. Jordan was just, I don't know. He was made for me. So people were like trying to put their finger on, why is this guy like this? Is it because she has money? No, if I didn't have money, and if I do, Jordan is Jordan. His mom even said it like when he was a baby, like he barely cried. Like he was the more laid back, chill child, less maintenance. He's just that guy and he was created for me and I'm so grateful for him. And so it sucks to look back and be like, girl, you know, you let people get to you so bad that you stopped something that both of you guys enjoyed and that was inspiring a lot of young girls and teaching a lot of young girls to not change yourself and um, get with the guy that likes you and not with the guy that you may like. You know what I mean? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy because I like Jordan, okay? But my kind of type was not Jordan. I kind of like, you know, the hood boogers. I like, you know, the bad boys. And that is not anything that the Lord wanted for me. And so he sent me Jordan. Okay. Sometimes Jordan looks back and was like, I don't even know like why you liked me. Like, and I'm like, you know, it must've been the Lord because you know, I didn't really like Jordan until like, I don't know where to start liking Jordan. And I'm like, I think the, I, I think Jesus put something in me that was like, this is going to be your guy. So I'm going to make sure you're attracted to him because this is your guy. And then getting to know him, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this guy. He is all about me. Like all about me. You can't tell him nothing that's going to change his mind about me. Okay. You, you just can't. Oh, I'm getting freaking foundation on my lashes. Ew. I look back now and I'm like, wow, the people that were talking either don't have nobody, which there's nothing wrong with being single. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but they're bitter about it or they're with somebody that doesn't treat them right and they're bitter about it and they want to take that out on me and have me act like them. Because from the beginning of time, when I was showing Jordan, people instantly had something to say. It was crazy. Like, as soon as I began to um, show Jordan, I'm getting emails back to back to back. Like, I'm noticing that you're not really treating him right and you're taking him for granted. Okay, taking him for granted is being myself. Yeah, no. I know what a lot of girls do when they get into relationships because I've watched it with having friends back then. They get into these relationships and they act completely different. And when he gets to see who she really is, he backs off or he begins to disrespect her. No, I've always been me. And it intimidates some people. But it didn't intimidate him. He was like, I like her. Ooh, I like that. And that's just how it's always been. But yeah, he's, I think he's finishing up his bathroom right now. I need to hurry up and get this dang makeup done, y'all, because I'm taking forever. I also set my boundaries and I make men respect me. I don't play that. You don't want to be sitting up shacked up in his bed and giving him whatever he wants. Why? Because this is the thing with men. They may try it, which I love Jordan because he's he's not a lustful guy. So he's never like ever try to like force me or like convince me to do anything with him because he's also a virgin and he also wants better for himself. But they may try it, but realistically, internally, they want you to say no. They like the chase. Keep yourself pure. And if you're trying to stay celibate, stay celibate. And when you get into your relationship, or if you're in a relationship, stay strong. I was not expecting to be in a relationship right now, um, but the Lord sent me Jordan and that's just what it is. He wasn't expecting to be in a relationship, but then he seen me and was like, oop, gotta have her. And he was nervous, cause you know, I'm like that girl. I don't play them games, I'm not loosey goosey, so you can't just feel like you can get at me. We are doing everything the right way, you know? And a lot of people, they bow down to guys and they be all shy and I hee hee hee. Cause they doing stuff with them they ain't got no business doing. And I'm not. So I'm confident in how I'm, you know, doing my relationship. We doing everything how we supposed to be doing it. And I'm confident in that. And we love each other. And we gonna always love each other. And we are blessed with each other. We know that we're blessed with each other. 
and we just gonna keep on pushing. I had young girls always telling me like, girl, you are really making a difference. Like you are showing me and a lot of other girls how to respect themselves from relationships and that we can do it the right way. We can have innocent fun, you know, but it was just too hurtful for me at the time. I'm drinking a Gatorade on ice. I don't know. I ain't really feeling today's makeup. I think I rushed through it. So I'm like, not really feeling it like that. I gotta fix this junk up because it is not too cute. It's not giving. But in the end, what I did learn, first of all, let me just say I'm not the biggest fan of my makeup today. I'm not feeling it. In the end, I got stronger. And in the end, I also learned that I have a lot of real sisters out there because I had so many girls that had my back that were not haters. And we're just like, girl, we got you. We love you. We are here for you down to whatever it comes down to. We got you. And at the end of the day, don't worry about them. So I just want to go ahead and say thank you for the like a millionth time um, because I got to learn that I got some girls out here that are down for me 100 and I just appreciate you guys so much because you guys are literally one of the biggest factors that made a difference in that little hate train you know and at the end of the day you know people always want to say you know if you keep talking about it people gonna keep talking okay that's cool that's on them i can talk about whatever i want to talk about you know it's what happened to me it's not like it's the hot subject of my channel um but you know i was hurt by it and um it was just a lot for me at the time Ooh, well look at there you actually cleaned it you gotta put a new wax melt in Okay, yeah. I have some in my bathroom. Oh my gosh, babe, you actually cleaned it. The floorboards are actually clean. The side of the toilet's clean. You got a little fresh towel down. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's shining. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. You did it. Thank you. Hold on. Slow your roll. Yeah, I learned from you, girl. Oh, I taught him well, y'all. <laughs> I taught him well. I gotta do my hair. Stop. You did your thing, boy. You did your thing. Good job. <laughs> All right, go ahead and rinse off. Okay. I'm proud of him. He did it, y'all. He did it. I'm so proud of him. Y'all, we done came a long way because that boy's bathroom used to be so gross. Oh my gosh, girl. I can't, I can't deal with no nasty bathroom. That is one of my pet peeves, girl. I just know. And I know he feels good too. Being able to take a shower in a clean bathroom. That's a good feeling. So, yeah, girl. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. It smells like chemicals. I don't know. I bought this uh, jam in my recent video. If you watched it, when I went to the beauty supply store. So I'm gonna go ahead and slick my hair down. Ooh, I like that. So this actually will work in his locks because it's about the same texture as his lock gel. Okay, so this will work. Okay, I like this stuff, y'all. This is like braiding jam and like dreadlock jam. But I've used products like this to slick down my hair. So I'm just going to use it to like slick down my hair. So I'm going to quickly do my hair off camera, get dressed, and I'll be back. Oh my gosh, you look so good. You're so beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. I so love good. that like the gold this thing? belt. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's why I love shopping because I always find something cute. Okay, sure so this is the plan. So my brother's coming here. So how about we just take Zaire to go get ice cream because I know he wants to spend time with his uncle. Okay. Take my perfume. So. Oh, I do like that. What's the name of that one? Because I've seen you use it before. DKNY Be Delicious. Be Delicious. That's okay. So that's what that was that I pointed at over there. Yes. Okay. Kind of messed up my makeup because I was like rushing. But yeah. Did you? Because it don't yes. look like it. Girl, you look slayed. Thank Play you. On me. You're so pretty. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ooh, she feeling herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be ready soon. I you know you're make? ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I just gotta put gotta my go. socks on. I gotta put a, a smell good on. And okay. I'll be ready. What'd you want to wear? Uh, I don't know, but we're gonna see if you know. Okay, I'll have to guess it. Okay, that's fun. Okay, I'll guess it. Go. Okay, go. Bye. Get on my face. I said get on my face. Oh. <laughs> she gonna guess it so quick just because I've been wearing it for literally like the past week. But it's this Kiss by Rihanna. And yes, that is a, uh, a foam piece from an armoire I put together. But. I'm going to put this on, and I already know she going to guess it because, I mean, if she don't, that's crazy. Then she don't love me for real. You feel me? Mm -mm. Oh, shoot. She found me. What is you doing? What are you talking about? Boy! What? We need to start walking Essence more because she's too hyper. I'm not saying she's being good potty-wise. Mm -hmm. 
She pooped on Zaire's foot. Whoa. Wait, how? I don't know. It was like juice coming out. Like, it was weird. But we have to start walking her more because she seems so much more calm. Pottying? Meh. She's still doing her thing, but... She's such a hyper dog. We need to start walking yeah. her a lot more. Just two laps around here, that's good for her. She just needs right. to get out because she just, she seems to just be laying around just, you know, mm -hmm. exhausted. And she's a little hyper thing. Now, Lockett, <laughs> eh, you know, she's always chill. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's Lockett. But um, Essence, we got to make sure she gets out and gets walked every single day. Yeah. We walk her, but not long distance. Exactly. So. We don't like bring them on the trails all the time and no. stuff like that. But even so. if it's not the trails, at least around here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I noticed that like a lot of people out here, they have small dogs and they don't walk them. All we do is take our dogs out to go poop or pee. We like literally like do like a little walk and that's it. Like we all do the same thing out here. You got a fragrance yeah. on yet? Yeah. Okay. What is it? She ain't gonna know because I haven't worn it in so long. But it's familiar. I don't want to say white musk because I know it's probably not. Is it? It's not mixed? No. It's a dolo. You loved it too. Isn't that? That's not the Rihanna one? That's not the oh, Rihanna one. The uh, the kiss. That kiss one. Is that it? Or is no? it? You Can I go look at your fragrances and go pick? Okay. And I'll just be waiting in here. You go pick out which one you think it is, and I'm gonna be right here. Okay. That's what I be saying. You gotta play mind games. You gotta play mind games. I'm in her head. I'm living rent free. Honestly, at this point. But yeah, she loves that kiss one. And I like it too. It's a good, it's a women's fragrance, but it's good for, I wouldn't say men, but it's good for my chemistry. We'll see what she picked. I think she, she going through picking them right now. What? I know it's not a cologne. Okay. I'm just gonna say Rihanna. <laughs> Are you sure you wanna say? Yes, I don't care. <laughs> Is that the white musk or Rihanna? See, she got lucky. She got lucky. It was Rihanna? White musk or Rihanna. Which one? Kiss. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Kiss? Yeah. The reason why I was confused. The reason. What's the reason? The only reason why I was confused was because he said he hasn't worn it in a while. You've been wearing that daily. Yeah, exactly. I played mind games. <laughs> I knew it was. You can't confuse me. Yes, I can because you're the, you're the specialist. You're the I know, specialist. but I knew what it was. <laughs> Babe. You did know. Stop. But you still got it though. But I want to mix my fragrance today with my myth perfume. This is the one I've been looking for for forever. Mm -hmm. My brother's here. That's why the dogs are barking. All right, let's go get some. Ow! I'm sorry, I was trying to smell. Day after day, oh tired, tired of the way he <laughs> treats me. Tired of the guilty feelings. That smells really good, though. Thank you. I'm putting it right back in the box. Okay. Don't want my dirty room. It's not dirty, it's just messy. Yeah. To the choreography. No, it's fine. What? What? You can dance, what though. was our? No, I can't. What Trust was our? Me, what was our old dance? I forgot it. All I know is the uh, the kick. The kick. kick. I know mean, it was like something like yeah, that. We're gonna have to look like at. It. We're gonna have to look at one of our old videos. Exactly. Let me redo my lips and then we can go get ice cream. I don't know if I'm gonna have ice cream though. Why not? I don't like ice cream. Like if they have pecan. I don't want ice cream though. I like slushies. So you wanna get slushies? No. Well, we're going to have fun regardless. Okay? Love you. Love you. No, I have my no, stuff on. Oh, well. Ew, dusty. Let's go. Ooh. What'd you get? He just got two scoops of vanilla in a cone. He got two scoops of what? Cookie dough? Yep. In a cup. And then I got one scoop of raspberry sorbet. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it was something that you wanted here. You guys want to go outside? I feel like it'd be more fun. Yeah. Let's okay, go outside. Okay, we'll go outside. Okay, I'm going to try this. All right, no, this is going to be good. Mmm. You got to come to the This is yeah, so fresh. This is, this is fresh. You want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Kind of tastes like strawberry. This is yummy. We gotta it's come so here more. Mm -hmm. We gotta come here more. Oh. Here. It's dripping around. Right. Get to it for it all melts away. Like the snowman. Frosty the snowman. Frosty the snowman. What's the lyrics? I used to, I, we used to sing it in kindergarten. What's the lyrics? I really forgot. You really don't know? We, we sung it in, uh, the gym 
and I was embarrassed, mm -hmm. and I really mm -hmm. did. I just you were embarrassed. I was like, oh, you need to enjoy your childhood. Don't be embarrassed. You're, I wasn't even singing. I was just like, I used to be embarrassed about everything growing up, and I regret it now. I'm just like, I was a kid. My mom used to give me like her old sunglasses, and she had like big round sunglasses, and she gave them to me. And we were doing like mileage club, and every single time I went up to go get my stamp. The teachers would like laugh at me and be like, those are so big on your face. And I was like so embarrassed, I just took them off. I'm like how immature were those teachers? The teachers. They're just regular people. That's what I learned when I got older. He's jamming. It's called a booze cruise. It's a booze cruise. Yeah. So, you ain't trying to go get a, a, a carriage ride? There you go. This is so good. Because I don't really like ice cream. I like refreshing fruity stuff. So it's got to be like slushies or sorbet. So they had one choice of sorbet. So I got the raspberry sorbet. The brownies look good too. Brownies. The brownies, they had cookies in there too. I saw the cookies, they didn't really look like McDonald's. McDonald's yeah. cookies look good. You like McDonald's cookies, that's your favorite? I don't know what my favorite is. As far as like oh, they cookies. Yeah. What's the, uh, it's not macadamia like cookies. What's the ones that they have in like Subway? Like it is, isn't it macadamia nuts? Is it? Okay, yeah. I love those ones. Though. Subway cookies are good with the macadamia nuts. Yeah, yeah those are good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I like homemade cookies though. You gonna be able to eat all that ice cream? I know that cone is good. I already make them fresh. We got here right on time because like the parking's starting to get bad. Um, I only been to two ice cream places before. I only went to Twisters and I only went to uh, Dairy Dam. Dairy Dam? I'm pretty sure you've been to um, Dairy Queen too though, right? Oh, uh-huh. And Dairy Queen, yeah. Mm-mm, Scooby-Doo's. Oh, and DeWitt. Yeah. Yeah. Scooby Doo's where we took Lockett when she was a puppy. Everybody that we took to Scooby Doo's loved it. Yeah, Scooby Doo's is long. It is. Yeah. All that all that Scooby Doo stuff, yeah. I was playing with the toys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They have toys in there. Pop cups. Fresh water. Tater tots. Tater tot. Chili dogs. Oh. It's all the way out in DeWitt. Yeah, oh. Oh, I got two chili dogs with tater tots. Well, before you go home, I'll make you some. I make good chili dogs. Look, honey. Ooh, we. You want? No, I'm good. Only you notice stuff like that, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Talking about some dang speedway, take your trash out. You know what I'm saying, like, oh my god. <laughs> Only you be noticing stuff like that. <laughs> I just be looking around. That's all. Girl, oh my gosh. So we haven't been on camera in a minute, but this is the update. So we went to TJ Maxx and the vibe, let me just say this, the vibe in that store was the weirdest I have experienced in a while. Mm -hmm. And we got out the store and we were like, I didn't say anything. And he was like, I didn't say anything either. But like the vibe was weird. And we were like, okay, that's crazy that we both felt that vibe in that dang store was weird. We didn't find anything because this guy is so freaking tall. I came up with a bright idea that we should go to Dick's because Dick's usually has like tall men's clothing. But like this new Dick's that we have, like our we live, doesn't have tall clothing at all. So this is the deal. We're gonna go to Myers. We're gonna get some snacks. I'm gonna grab like some avocados because I'm craving guacamole. And of course, we're gonna grab some tortilla chips. So we're gonna go snack shopping and then we're gonna go home. We're gonna hop on the laptop. We're gonna like screen record it so you guys can see it. And we're gonna find this guy some sweatpants because this guy needs some kind of sweatpants. He's good on shorts. Shorts, of course, fit him because it's not really about the length. Um, but we're gonna go on Dick's Sporting Goods and we're gonna find some kind of long sweatpants for him and like not the regular length, the long length because I'm getting tired of seeing his dang sweatpants look like high waters. I cannot <laughs> stand seeing. And, you know, he's super humble, but I had to like push him to get himself some things. So you're gonna go on there and you're going to get sweatpants today. Yeah, it is about time. I know I'll be able to find some stuff on there. And yeah. sometimes uh, online, they be having like sales and stuff. Sometimes so they have we'll sales. See. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to hop on the laptop, which is like literally how life is nowadays. Like you can only find the good stuff online. Okay. It's like malls are becoming dead. Stores are becoming dead. But yeah, we're going to go online and see what we can find for this guy, which is cool because with technology, we can just screen record it. So it's basically like we're in the store together. Yeah, there was a couple of things I seen in Dick's Sporting Goods, but I'm like, girl, you have so much stuff and you're trying to buy winter clothing, you can wait to when it gets fall temperature and like, you know, the snow starts coming down and you can, you know. Anyways, girl, the amount of stuff I've got right now is stressing me out. Why put more in there? Okay, let's go, babe. Let's do it. Let's do it. First of all, let me tell y'all what she got. Well, because it'll be easy to eat when we get hungry. Yeah, she be getting hungry all the time. She got these nice chicken tenders. They do look good. She got these chef specials. I thought these was like California it's, rolls, but it's I don't sushi. know about that. About and sushi. it's like chef specials, but it has imitation crab and shrimp. 
And then I usually don't like anybody else's macaroni and cheese but mine. But as of lately, any like warm-up macaroni and cheese is good with accent to me with a little extra cheese. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Mm -hmm. So we got that for if we get hungry. And then two avocados for my guacamole. And then I like to warm these up, these on the border home style um, tortilla chips. I got these um, cheddar jalapeno popcorns. And then we're gonna grab two of these because we love these. Yes, sir. And they're on sale for three ninety nine. What? What are y'all talking? Those about? are our favorite chips. Thanks. All right, so we're gonna grab those. Tangy chili fusion. Remember we tried that before? Did I like it? Um, I don't think you ate the bag. I think it was just me that ate it. Okay, then I'll just get the limon. Yeah, that is good stuff right there. Should I get Zaire a bag though? Uh, he does like them. He likes these. Look at you. What a nice person. Um, it's my nephew. Oh, so Candy is just right here to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's perfect. It's like a snack shop exactly. aisle. So what you thinking? I'm thinking, um, where are my twin snake heads? Uh, they'll probably be down there more. It looks like they're sold out. Because this is like all the hearable stuff. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah, it's looking sold out to me. Look at twin snakes sold out. Wait a minute. There's one more bag. Huh? There's two more bags. Oh, yes. It was meant. It was meant. Oh Should I grab my, my mama goodness. pack though, just in case? She likes them? Yeah, she loves them. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'll grab my mom some. Yeah, we stocking up. Yeah, we're stocking up. Might as well, so we don't have to keep running to the store. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, I kind of like Twizzlers. No, maybe not. Maybe not. They don't have the green apple sweet tart ropes anymore. They used to be so good. We're going to the chocolate now. Do you like chocolate? Uh, heck no. You don't like chocolate? Chocolate is for the birds. I haven't really been liking chocolate either. People said that it was nasty that I liked these before back in school. Like yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Not Milk bad. chocolate's the way to go. These are good crinkle dill cut pickles. dill pickle. Okay. Are oh, those like the baked ones? No, like they're the kettle. Oven? Oh, kettle cooked. You love kettle. So you don't want any? No, no. So basically all you're gonna eat is this, and I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna probably eat some of yours. Maybe some of your <laughs> You are not. <laughs> this is a pretty good bag of twin snakes, so I can share it with you. It's like a bigger bag of snakes. Yeah, it's pretty. It's share size, but realistically, I can have it to myself. I actually get my dang sushi. Oh, I'm trying to get hangry, you guys. And when I'm hangry, like when I'm hungry, I get anxiety and I get angry. And she hits me. No, I'm just really mad right now. <laughs> it was so many people in checkout. It was like making my what? skin crawl. I cannot stand being around a bunch of people. I don't know how people go to concerts. I don't know how people go to clubs. I don't know how people go anywhere with like a bunch of people. Thank you. Why don't you like sushi? I think I had fried sushi one time and I enjoyed it. But I don't fried know. sushi? Yeah. What the frick? Ooh, that smells like ooh. It smells like the Western barbecue bacon cheeseburger I got. So, so it actually smells good. I'm trying to learn more about myself though. I'm starting to learn that my anxiety is worse if I'm hungry. There's so many people out here. Why don't we come on a weekend? I don't know. I like this. I hate it. Hey, it's them again. Oh, look at the scooters. Oh. Yeah, it's two kids on one scooter. That's so cute. Lord like Jesus, them. protect them on these streets. In the mighty power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, girl, I'm trying to learn more about myself though. Because if I'm not hydrated and I haven't eaten much, girl, I feel terrible and I'm mad and I'm angry and I'm anxious and it's just an all around bad thing. So I'm about to go ahead and eat this dang sushi because girl, I'm hungry and I'm about to go home, make some guacamole, warm up these dang tortilla chips, eat some chicken, whatever the heck else my mama cook. We're gonna get on his laptop too and see what the heck we can find for this boy because he been looking like a Caillou, I don't know. What? It's been bad. I've been dripped out. That's what you say, drip? Yes, yes. You know what? High water should come in style. So that all the kids that ain't got much can be still stylish. First of all, all my clothes fit so well. Yeah, they do. What you doing that for? We both got a bag of these um hot barbecue chips. And then we got a whole pack of black cherry burners. Girl, them black cherry burners gonna go crazy. For real, oh my gosh. I feel like half of this vlog was literally in the car. It is what it is. Uh-huh. I'm gonna find you a good one. No, I'll take the bad ones for real. I don't care about no good ones. No. Oh, that bunch on the run us over. For real. Here you Thank go. You. Mm. Oh, girl. You need some water? Mm. I love snack. 
You know, like, you pull up next to a bus and you know those people in there looking at you? Mm. Girl, if I was on the bus, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting up wondering why my eyes are hurting. The AC is flying straight in my eyes. I'm like, why are my eyes doing all of this? Girl, the AC. This is beautiful. Look what my mama made. I'm going to eat mine tonight for my final meal. Stop playing with them. And I'm mad at y'all because y'all didn't tell me that my, my, uh, the top of my eyes was creasing. All up here creased up. I know y'all seen it. You just didn't say nothing. So I'm mad. Girl made me a bowl of guac. Mmm. All right. We are on the Dick Sporting Goods website. Um, why they put them tight hey, joggers on him? You feel me? I was looking at that, but I wasn't going to say nothing. Oh my him. gosh. Look like Rod Wave. <laughs> what website were we on where you could pick like long like you know what I mean it was the Nike website that we were on that day mm -hmm. so Nike specifies if it's tall or whatever the heck so look around babe I'm not just looking at this pair I'm just saying look around I'm about to fall asleep I'm trying to drink less caffeine but it don't seem to be working for you girl because I'm tired oh my gosh what's happening with these pants maybe you were saying hard water at this point because these dang pants going crazy I like those. What do you got? I don't like. <laughs> okay, but I like that. Yeah, these aren't bad. These are like regular sweatpants. Uh huh. For real. And they're a really good price. Forty-eight percent off. That's crazy. Do they have your? Oh, they don't have medium tall. They have medium tall. These are nice sweatpants. The other ones are like, yeah, those ones look nice. These are the lighter gray ones. Those are nice. And these are the green ones. I'd rather you go for these ones or these ones. I'm feeling those ones better though. But they don't have your size in the light. Oh, then, yeah, man. So if we those don't look bad. So, just a few left. How about this? How about we get a pair, see how they fit you. If they fit well, we gotta get you, you gotta get like a million more. All right, so order this pair to be smart. And then when they come, we'll see how they fit. Mm -hmm. Just to be like 100% sure, because we don't want to like buy a bunch right and then they don't come right order this pair and then we will go from there yep sounds good with me man you gotta figure out what fits you best hopefully. yeah exactly and i think that's good because you're really you know you're cheap when it comes to stuff i think that's good for you know how you like the shop 40 bucks is good yeah it's actually really good because usually them junks would be like 70 yeah exactly so 40 bucks is good but anyway, I'm going to end for this information. And... and we'll be back. Bye. Okay, so he bought the pair that we just showed you guys. And then he also got this pair because, hey, might as well. The fall sale is only going on for so long. And the total for everything was like 78 bucks, And that's for two pair of pants, babe. Nike pants. Exactly. So that's really good. They were both like 18% off. And then on top of that, since, free shipping. since I'm a member. Yeah, free shipping as well. Since I'm a member, there's an extra 20% off. That worked out. It did. Yeah. He's a little bit more frugal than I am, which is awesome. Yeah, because mm -hmm. honestly, I'll wear some freaking crap until it, I run it into the ground. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tired of seeing it. Like, it's actually been worse lately because, I don't know, it's like he just grew overnight or all his clothes got tiny and I'm just tired of seeing it. So, I'm sorry, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm just glad we found something because those look good. I like them too. It feels good, don't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. But most of my stuff is like H&M and charlotte roos and like target and stuff like that i don't be buying all that expensive crazy yeah yeah i just be buying like the cheaper clothing probably just like the most expensive stuff is just like the coach i'm not coach the uh north face coats and stuff yeah exactly the most expensive stuff i own is yeah north face i'm trying to think of anything else but it's just north face mm. yeah that's the most i spend on things is north face for sure you're right they look nice though, mm -hmm. and they're very good quality. Yeah, so. but that's another reason why I have so many clothes because I have like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, H&M, yeah. Target, stuff like that. It's it's not like crazy expensive clothing. And I probably would have a bunch of stuff if TJ Maxx and Marshalls actually had stuff for me. Exactly, and H&M and Target, lie. exactly. But they always have stuff for me. That's why I have so much stuff. But I only buy what I can afford. I only buy what I can afford, and that's the truth. But I need to get this makeup off because I'm I'm trying to get to bed. I'm tired. She was on here banging down this guac while I was Shut looking up. at the website. Not it's gonna lie. So glee. You just be eating it straight up. Let's see what I gotta deal with. Yay! Yay! Glorilla! <laughs> so 
say that. Oh, what's up? What? Yeah, you gotta wash off your makeup. You don't want to. You're trying to procrastinate it. No. Mm -hmm. I love my eyelashes. I perfected them exactly how I wanted it to be yesterday. And then I wanted to get up and do makeup today. And it messed up my eyelashes because I have foundation all over them. And now I have makeup all on them. So I had to like throw them out. And I adjusted them yesterday just to do makeup today. Why did I do that? Because I'll be mm -hmm. seeing some that are like five ninety nine and stuff like that. <laughs> day after day. Okay, girls, so I took off my makeup and I'm getting a head massage because my head been in that bun. Why are you acting like you ain't happy about it? Mm -hmm. No, I'm tired. I'm tired too. Yeah, I know we both tired. Okay, so then rub my dang head so I can go to bed. Jordan, I already think I've abused you, so don't do that. You do. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, I'm gonna really hurt you. I'm gonna really hurt you tonight. So I'm gonna get my nice 30 minute head massage. I'm gonna get my nice couple hour head massage and head to sleep. And that's gonna be what it's gonna be. Yeah. Y'all don't understand how many video recordings and pictures in his phone he has of me. Sleep. It's not true. So I think he has like an obsession with watching me go to bed. And I think it's weird. Do you want me in here before you fall asleep or when you fall asleep? Yes, I do, because it makes exactly. me comfy. Exactly. Look at you. What? See? You take pictures of me, that's, that's what I'm it. saying. That's exposed. I'm talking about you taking pictures of me. You take yeah, pictures of me. I do. Stop being weird. Y'all see how this how she is. Jordan! But oh well, like I can have pictures of you whenever. Whenever I want to. It's because I like how you look. You pretty. Mm-hmm. You little cutie. Y'all we both tired. That's why we both a little moody. You be like that. You better not be moody. Be like that. You need to be nice. I'm freaking angry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. But I am tired though, yeah. I'm tired I'm not too. Lie. Cause you want to stay up watching UFC fights and junk. Well, it was a good fight, and I had to watch it. Who fought? It was Aljamain Sterling, which you don't know, and then Sean O'Malley. Well, you had to put on a little accent when you did Aljamain Sterling. Cause that just sounds like a country name, Aljamain. Aljamain. LaFontaine. Hey. Ouch. <laughs> Anyways, we love y'all. We're going to go ahead and head up out of here. He's going to give me the rest of my head massage. And yeah, we're going to go. Say bye, baby. Peace out, y'all. Y'all want to turn off the camera? He stop massaging my head. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs>